Tiger. Yeah. I feel good tonight because I know this opening stand-up routine we're going to do is going to be an absolute belter because we've sweated blood in making the script and putting that together, right? Yeah, that's absolutely right. And I've got that very special script right here. Yeah. <laughs> Remind me, Gareth, what classic comedy devices are in the script for the opening of the show tonight, please. Well, I thought we'd do a bit of straight man, funny man. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hale and Pace show. It really is a total delight to see you all here. <laughs> Gareth, you're being silly, aren't you? Really, ladies and gentlemen, you're marvellous. <laughs> it's a... I think it'll work. It's a classic technique, full of laughs. What's next? Well, I thought we'd go for a bit of uh, the old comedy fruit and veg. Yeah? With, um... <laughs> <laughs> with the obvious sexual connotations, you know. <laughs> Now, the good thing about this is the people at home can join in if they got a fruit bowl. Do you know that's <laughs> nice. Always works, always works. Yep. <clears throat> what we got next, Gal? Well, next, I thought I'd try a bit of that sideways mugging to camera. <laughs> Should you go get a laugh? Well, I'm not so sure about that. When do I get to do my favourite bit? Now? Oh, you mean your up-to-the-minute topical impersonation. That's the one. Right now. Right now. OK, yeah. here we go, then. Ooh, Betty, just a check on your whoopsie, my bad. <laughs> Did he walk in? Is he here? <laughs> oh, it was you! It was you. It's absolutely fantastic, man. Absolutely Thank fantastic. You. So, uh, tell me when... <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I had an ad-lib titter there. I do apologise. Well, good luck to you, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much. When do we do the clever stuff, then? Oh, come on, Norman. This is an ITV audience. They'd never understand it. Wow. Yeah. And besides... Did you go to Oxford or Cambridge University? Good point. Yeah. Oh, God! Help me. All right, sure. I'm sorry, mate. I was just overcome by a spontaneous comedy pratfall there. <laughs> what a very lovely ad lib. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Tell, Gareth, tell me, how are we going to finish this spot? Do you think we should scrape the bottom of the barrel and go for a bit of gratuitous bad language? Nah, bollocks to that. <laughs> This is Mona Lisa by Da Vinci. There are many theories surrounding her extraordinarily enigmatic smile. <laughs> Some people say that her smiling countenance is such because she actually made love just before the portrait was painted. Lucky bitch. <laughs> to him eventually. <laughs> I had no choice. She should have offered us a cup of tea. <laughs> I had no choice. It would have spoiled his dinner. Parked your cab, parked it. Black cabby, done the knowledge, turns it on a sixpence, yes. <laughs> Some of that. 
answer. That's a Charlotte. A two very large gin and wash names and one for yourself, you walking lump of gorgeous. <laughs> Legs that go right up to her armpits. With respect, a large portion, yes! Cheers. <laughs> Blinded. Handsome. Gorgeous. <laughs> How's the golf? The golf is going well good as it goes. Right, I'm on the ninth, right? I've got a full iron in my hand, and I bloody melted it! <laughs> you melted it! Oh, Chernobyl did it! <laughs> As a putty. I don't want to talk about it. As a putty. I don't want to talk about it. As a putty. All right, putty, right? I am standing over the ball, right? My bottle has gone, my arse has gone tight, right? <laughs> As Elvis once said, my ring is blinking like a rabbit's eye. <laughs> right. <laughs> How's it going? I am on the 11th, right? And it is blowing a bit. Breezy? It's an owling gale. What sort of gale? Huh? I've got a free wood in my hand, right? And I bloody creamed it! You mullered it! I Cape canaveral it! You did it some large! I pulled his pants down! I bent it over and I spanked his ass! <laughs> Wait, uh, two, two very large gin and what's name, Sam? One for yourself. <laughs> Legs, armpits, with respect, a large portion, yes. Hi, mate. Hi. Mind if I use your phone? No, go ahead. Cheers, thanks a lot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I really itch <laughs> Well, this is from Matthew and Therese, and knowing his sense of humour, it'll be something stupid. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what do you think, Uncle Tom? What's that, then? Oh, it's a dancing flower. Look. What's that do, then? Well, it dances when the music time. What is that, then? I don't know. It's a novelty. Oh, it's clever. Why is it so loud, then? Oh, that's the music, the speaker. Oh, no fangled. <laughs> Watch out, Uncle. <laughs> What's that? It's a cheap glass, it's a joke. You pretend to throw it at people, but the brandy doesn't. Oh, forget it. Look, um, I've got to go and talk to some people. I'll see you later. Hi, Gal. What do you want? <laughs> Hi, Gareth. Why don't you shove off? <laughs> Is that a bit better for you now? Are you brain dead or deaf or what? <sighs> Are you brain dead or deaf or what? Or what? Or what? <laughs> or what? First of all, hold trouble there, I think. That's better. Sod off. <laughs> Sod off. <laughs> you all right now, guys? <laughs> A lot better now, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> well, I thought the uh, audience reception could have been better. <laughs> girls. Lovely girls. They're lovely. <laughs> lovely and a naked. They're starkers. Stark, a bollock, a knife. <laughs> I'm making to pass the bollocks. <laughs> <laughs>
If I had any, which of course I don't. For a girl, a galaxy is completely bollockless. Nice girls, lovely girls. They come home and meet your mama. They come home, meet your mama, Roger, you're senseless, but a nice girl, lovely girl. Hey, sir, come on, inside, have a drink. Go on, yeah, have yeah, a little drink. Go to the bar, tell him what you know, Under the house. Down the hatch. Papa the coat. In your coat. <laughs> These girls go so far. We had to send out a rescue party to bring them home. We had a look in there once. We went blind. Who said that? <laughs> lovely girls, in you go, sir. In you go, sir. Hey, it's lovely. <laughs> Step inside and see the lovely girls, the lovely girls. Everyone, a pastry model or international film star. Guarantee you're spraining your wrist or your money back in. Hey, in you go. Hey, father, what do you want? You wanted the father. We have got the him. You wanted the son. He's inside. You wanted the other girls. In the flesh, we got all three. And not just one did in the Hey, holy <laughs> family. Hey, Sam, you want to meet a wear jean? Hey, you don't see many of those around now, do you? Hey. Saturday <laughs> time. Saturday cross. In you go. In you go. Hey, priest. All right. Go on, go on, go on. We got many girls. Naughty boy, you naughty girl. I told you once, I told you twice, come over here. Just shut your mouth, don't you talk back, I'll clip your ear. You're all I need, a little bleed. You are a little song. Don't you dare. Run away, run away, you little get. When I catch you, you'll be getting me. Give your hands off the sweet, so have a fit. Gareth, murder, sex with MPs, robbing old ladies, drug addiction. Yeah, so what do my star signs say? <laughs> oh, she's so big, right, this girl. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with her. <laughs> hey, suck a juggler! <laughs> Unnecessary force force, don't move. I have no choice. Sack the juggler, far too predictable. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Benny. Sven? One down. Felatio. <laughs> Three down, 24 across. Orgy. <laughs> Hours. Shouldn't we try and find a campsite? Yeah, good thinking, Amy. Hey, you guys, keep your eyes peeled. Hey, and that includes you, Rick and Nancy. If you can just quit <laughs> necking for five minutes. <laughs> hey, look! Hey, this is great. Hey, I'm certain death. Isn't this the place where 300 teenagers were horribly butchered by a psychotic caretaker last week? <laughs> Jeez, Amy. You sure do have a vivid imagination. <laughs> Scott, I don't like this place. It gives me the creeps. Hey, lighten up, Amy. You soon feel better when we're toasting marshmallows over an open campfire. Hey, you guys, let's split up and go exploring. Hey, great idea. Tell the others. Yeah. First, though, let's make out. Yeah. Hey, Amy just wants.
want you guys to know that the pizzas are ready. Okay, be right there. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, you'll never guess. You know, we can't find a pizza cutter anywhere. <laughs> What was that? It's probably nothing. Today, I'm sure I heard something I tell you. It's probably just a goofy around. Medic, I'm sure I heard something. Is anybody there? I'm going outside. I thought I saw some deranged maniac dragging the hacked and lifeless bodies of our friends into the bushes. <laughs> it's probably nothing. <laughs> Are you all right, Scott? <laughs> Where did these come from? Trauma and the emotional scars of feel. We got a lot of clearing up to do. Let's go, bro. You're certain he's dead, aren't you? Hell yes. Just a thumb left. <laughs> Holy moly! He's gone! He stole a patrol car! He's getting away! <laughs> he hurts his head for the city! You think you're hard, you do. <laughs> no, I'm Wellard. Wellard? Mr. Wellard to you. <coughs> Is that your motor outside? Might be. Who wants to know? I do. Well, in that case, yes, it is. If your motor was a disease, it'd be VD. Cos it's clapped out. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, if your face was a planet, it would be Uranus. <laughs> That's nothing, that. You are about as much use as a eunuch in a sperm bank. <laughs> if you was a centrefold, you'd be Mother Teresa. Well, you are about as much use as Quasimodo's duffel bag. <laughs> If you was a famous lover, you'd be that bloke who got caught being sexy with a dolphin. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. In fact, you're about as welcome as a knife thrower at a circumcision. Well, you are about as welcome as Richard Gere in a pet shop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Well, I've seen your missus. And your missus is about as tasty as monosodium gluten, mate. <laughs> Don't you never call me mate. <laughs> I wouldn't touch your missus with a barge, Pope. <laughs> oh. I know he is. <laughs> You think you're hard, but you ain't. You're about as hard as Lord Longford at a strip show, you are. <laughs> well, you are about as hard as a moron in a pub who keeps on saying, yeah. 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 Ordinarily small. <laughs> now, I am a nun, but even I've seen a bigger one than this. <laughs> I mean, you've got lady. That's what I think of this statue. <laughs> 